For the first time since 2019, children and families in Barrio Logan now have access to a community swimming pool. Earlier this month, I reported about a lifeguard shortage there and the plea for people to step up. And since my report, the Barrio Station community pool received several calls from people wanting to help. ABC 10 News anchor Aaron Dickens has more on the lifeguard who made it happen. And Kimberly, your coverage made a big splash in this community. I want to introduce you to Barrio Logan's newest lifeguards. Congratulations. And they are ready to dive in. Yeah, like my mom told me, oh, the pool's open, you want to go? And I was like, yes. Getting here, everyone has been so grateful and so kind to me that it's just made me feel like I'm a part of something a lot bigger than I expected. When Erica Buenconsejo turned on ABC 10 News and saw this community pool could not open because it had no lifeguards, she took action. I saw Rachel on the news. The kids you know, don't have the finest clothes in the world, but they manage, they manage, and it's, it's, it shows that somebody cares about them. She just seemed like a great lady, and so someone that I really wanted to help. And she came through for us. It was, it was just a miracle that happened. Rachel Ortiz is the executive director of Barrio Station. The nonprofit manages the pool on Newton Avenue. And then last year it was also closed because Ortiz could not find lifeguards. There was a shortage of lifeguards everywhere because lifeguards have to be certified every three years. And so COVID came and they weren't able to cert recertify. Rachel says after anchor Kimberly Hunt came here to report on the shortage, things changed. Erica is there five days a week and she's also training two other lifeguards. I really want it to be a safe and fun environment that kids can come to anytime. That's what's so great about this community is everyone's just coming together in such a positive way. Aaron Dickens, ABC 10 News. A great ending there. The pool is open Monday through Friday now from noon to five. It is free to use.